amazing how it's actually moving. That's venom on my glasses. One horn above each of those eyes. See, now we oh! My name's Jack Randall, and I'm a zoologist. Wow! Woo! And I'm showing you every animal on the planet. Come on, let's go. On every expedition, we always find snakes. There's a whole diversity of them out here. Let's take a look at the favorite moments that I've had with snakes. The first snake on the list is specially adapted for surviving in the sand dunes of a Namib desert. As well as the sweltering heat, a big challenge is being able to keep traction on the soft moving sand, an issue we found out ourselves. Woo, well, that was lucky. Almost got stuck. The Peringaze adder has a special technique to move along the dunes, and that is with a side winding motion, giving it a unique track in the sand. It's amazing how it's actually moving. Look at that. Going across this dune with absolute pure ease. That movement is just incredible. Almost you can see as well, lifting parts of that body whilst it's moving. So there's only half of the body necessarily on the sand at once. But this is why they call the sign divide because that is just characteristic of this snake. The next snake is known for its loud hiss and is responsible for more snake bite deaths on this continent. We've got here a track. That's a puff adder. Its track is distinct in being straight as it moves slowly in a caterpillar fashion. Whoa! You hear that hiss? That isn't anywhere near as loud as you can go, but you can actually just see where he's just inhaling through those nostrils and then just exhaling. And that gives you that typical a huffy puffy. Look at that, getting right up to this puff adder. He's coming right up to my leg. See now we Oh! Do you see that? Oh! Do you see that? As its name suggests, this snake has black and white stripes and is able to spit its venom. Found in the rocky outcrops throughout Namibia, it's like looking for a needle in a haystack. So we need to check in the cracks and under rocks where they hide. Oh my crap! Holy! There's a spitting cobra in there. My hand was like literally about four inches away from the mouth of a spitting cobra. Holy mackerel! Okay, so I've got my goggles. Now they are able to spit up to two meters straight into the face of the attacker, their venom. Oh, wow. Woo! Okay, I'm getting him into the open so you can see what this guy does. Look at this. Oh, did you see that? Oh, did you see that? Wow, yes! That's exactly what I wanted to show you. He's now just ended up on my glasses there. These deep canyons are well known to have a large population of the next snake. The water here is a refuge for lots of animals, which provides lots of prey. I think there's a snake up there. The horned adder shelters in the holes in the banks of the canyon, where I spotted one curled up, which we could take a closer look at and see why they get their name. You can see there's one horn above each of those eyes. And I'm not entirely sure why they have those horns, what the actual purpose is. No one's really worked out exactly, but I reckon it just allows them to blend in. It's just amazing how camouflage works in, in nature. Just certain shapes and certain colorations allow animals to blend in into their environment. And if you think about it, the eyes are the first thing that a predator or prey might notice. Next up is one of the rarest and least observed snakes in all of Africa, if not the world. Snake shed. Finding that was a sign that there were some snakes around. There you are. The Angolan dwarf python. But what I just find bizarre and actually just quite in in interesting is that they don't seem to feel that a human being is a potential threat, which is just it doesn't seem natural considering that there are actually predators out here and leopards are living around here. A leopard certainly would love to eat a python like this. It's got to be probably the best, I, I, I can't describe, like this really is the best snake find ever.
The final snake isn't the largest, but it's also very seldom seen as it spends most of its time underground where it feeds on a unique food item. Woo! It's a shovel snouted snake. I mean, it looks kind of like a worm, but no, that's a snake. And it's an extremely rare and specialized snake. It's got an upturned snout in order to burrow through the sand in order to find its specialized prey item. And that is lizard eggs, only lizard eggs. It's all he eats. Shovel snouted snakes, there's very little research being done into their different species. And so where I am right now, I imagine that not many of these have been found and been studied or even the DNA has been collected. So this one here could even be a new subspecies or even a new species itself. The six snakes featured can be seen in these videos. Thanks for watching.